Dynamics GP version 10.0 came out with a brand new reporting tool. We refer to it as Refreshable Excel Reports. What I want to do in this video is to generate a Refreshable Excel Report from Dynamics GP and then I'm going to publish it up to SharePoint and also make it available in Outlook. Let's take a look at it. First I'm going to go into GP. I want to go to the Administration tab here. I'm going to open up that area page and then my Excel reports are in this folder here. GP comes with a roughly 200 standard reports. The one I'm looking for has to do with inventory quantities, specifically overstock. So I'm going to enter overstock in the filter here, activate the filter. It's going to bring up these two items. I'll select this one and then hit view. It's going to open up Excel, put the data in Excel. This also creates a connection back to the GP data. So this is going to be useful because I'm going to do some formatting on this Excel spreadsheet and I'm going to publish it out to other people. So I want other people to be able to open up the spreadsheet and refresh it at any time and then we'll get all the new data in GP. So let's spruce it up a little bit. I'm going to take, get rid of these columns here. And then I just want to look at the top 10 items. So I'm going to select the column here with quantity on hand. I'm going to sort it first by the largest to smallest. And then I just want to look at the top 10. So I'm going to go down to number filters, top 10, hit OK. Now what I also want to do is add a graph here. and It's pretty easy to do. I'm going to select column A, select column D, and then insert a graph. Here's my graph. I'm going to format it for this page a little better. Let's make it a little longer. And now I've got my Excel spreadsheet. And I can use this. But what I want to do is I want to publish it up to SharePoint. So I'm going to do a file, save as, and save it up to my SharePoint site. Here's my reports library on my Moss server. I've set up this folder here. Let's name the spreadsheet. It's going to Moss and this is going to be a report. And this document library asks for a little additional information, so I'll add that now. There we go. And then I'll save it. And now it's saved up to SharePoint. So let's take a look at it. Here's my SharePoint site. I published these up to the reports library. So it's going to be there in a special folder I made up for it. Let's go to reports. Here's the report library. Here's the folder in which it was stored. Here's the report right here. So what I'm going to do is I could open it from this point if I wanted to, but I'm going to make this available in Outlook. So I'm going to go to actions and then connect to Outlook. It's going to synchronize it with a folder there. You can see it opened up Outlook and created an item in this folder. So from here, I can just view it here. I can open it up, take a look at it in Outlook. And this is a real easy way to publish data from GP to the people that you want to see it. And it's a refreshable report so at any point in time I can go to data here and I can refresh that data. It's going to go out to GP, get the new data and bring it into the report. This is a good example of how GP makes data readily available and easily to publish, easy to publish out to the people within your organization.